magnets, truly magic things. These are wonderful for teaching because they do magical things and there's a lot of science behind it. The problem for many um, science teachers is that magnetism is in the syllabus, but they haven't got any magnets. Or if they like this one, they've gotten so old, they've lost their magnetism and they're not really very useful. So this unit is about helping to show you how you can get um, hold of really powerful magnets for your teaching and with it have fun and uncover a lot of really nice physics. Um, there's a ceramic magnet like this one here. It's incredibly powerful. Where can I get hold of these? Well, let me show you one trick that I've come across. Well, this is where I get my ceramic magnet from. It's an old loudspeaker. I just go down to uh, businesses that fit radios uh, to cars and ask them for all their old speakers and they willingly throw all their junk speakers at my way. The magnet lies there in the back and the problem is how do you get it out of there? And let me show you a really easy way to do that. All you need is a screwdriver and you lever it in there and it's pop the rivets and you've got the first stage over. So now our problem is how do we pull these things that are very firmly bonded to that ceramic magnet off. And there's a very nice trick. If you look at it, there's a little ridge there. And onto that ridge, we take some little nuts and we just put little feet. Once you've got your little feet, well, those nuts, that goes down on a floor, a nice solid concrete floor. You take another bolt and just put it there. And then you're going to take a hammer and give it a whack to break the bond. Having banged it, we've now broken the bond on this back plate. Just take a screwdriver and off it comes. Problem one solved, we got one side off. We've now got to remove this one. How do we do that? And inside we can see there's a little shelf and that's where um, we'll put the bolt and knock that one off. So now we've got this lovely ceramic magnet. It's very powerful. And the issue is, where's the North Pole? Where's the South Pole? We know that it's a magnet. And if you take another one, a second one, you'll see it's the faces that attract. Or if I pull that apart, turn one over, I actually can't put it together because it's just too strong. So clearly, one face is a North seeking face and the other face is south seeking. The issue then is, well, which is the north face and which is the south face? And an easy way to do that is simply to tie a piece of cotton on it and it'll swing around, but very soon it'll settle. Just stabilize it and you can see it settles in. That's the north direction now, so I know therefore that this is the north seeking face. Bring another magnet to it and I now automatically know that must be the south face and so on. So you can identify which is the north and which is the south face. Then <clears throat> another very useful thing I find to do is take this magnet, clamp it somehow in a vise or in a crack in a, um, um, a stone or between concrete blocks, something like that, then just simply take a hammer and give it a hard smack so that you can break that ceramic magnet. They're very brittle and out of it you end up with pieces of magnets. Those are very, very useful for children to now start doing magnetism, studying magnetism, electric motors and so on. Another source of um, ceramic magnets, powerful ring magnets, is a magnetron. This comes from a microwave oven. It's used to produce the microwaves. So if you go down to the store that fixes appliances, ask them for 
any old magnetrons coming from broken um, microwave ovens. This is much easier. All you need to do is put a screwdriver in and lever two hinges apart. And off comes the thing. There's another one underneath there, easily um, accessible as well. You just pull it off. So a magnetron is also a source of two lovely, powerful ceramic magnets. And the third source of magnets, and these ones are even more powerful, they are rare earth magnets, neodymium, is an old hard drive from an obsolete, redundant computer. If you go to any place where you, people take old scrap computers, go and ask them, can you please have the hard drive? Uh, they sold these to me for um, less than a US dollar. Um, takes a bit of getting into there. There's four, there's six little screws that hold it together. If you can get the right uh, tool, you can unscrew that. I've done this a little ahead of time, so it's not quite as easy as I'm making it look now. Or, if you can't get screws, use a an angle grinder. You can see I've just ground those things off rather brutally, but enables me to take the whole thing off and see the inside. And there is where we find the magnets. Um, if we can, then I cut through there with an angle grinder and we lift it up and there is a very powerful magnet, two powerful magnets under there. This is the powerful little um, neodymium magnet. How do we get it off there? It's also been bonded and again all I do is take a screwdriver and put it on there and give it a hard whack and that will remove it. Right, well I hope those ideas help you. Certainly you can see magnets are easily ava readily available and there's some fun things that you can do with it. I've uh, shared my ideas with you. If you have any questions, comments or ideas, you can um, send them in either via the comment on the website or to me on this email address.